Okay. So I'm going to be transparent. I'm going to share that my computer had a glitch and I'm recording this today from my phone. So welcome to Breakthrough Conversations with Coach Pete and I'm Gloria Leibecker. And we were just exploring, um, Coach Pete, a little bit about what it's like to be reached out to by someone that's in the workforce and they are finding themselves feeling a lot of anxiety and maybe some fear around how to voice their truth um, because they're in an institution that has, I don't know, it's a different kind of structure that we can find ourselves in. And how do we stay in integrity when, when we, when we're experiencing a sense of conflict and what comes up for you, you know, when you think about that and really supporting people, because this is a really pretty common experience that we have as humans. It's very common, Gloria. And it's true, not only in corporate America, people think of these kinds of issues in corporate land, you know, where there's structure, yeah. management layers. I can attest to this. I've been on corporate side and I've been in the non-for-profit world. It's the same. It's the same. You can run up against the same kinds of things because it mm -hmm. comes down to management style, whether it's not-for-profit or, or corporate or business. Um, and so any individual who's working for an organization you're, you're, you can struggle at certain times and it can cause stress being managed by someone or a team of people that somehow you don't like their, that style, but you still need the job and you like the job and you need to perform, but you're not sure how to navigate that. You're not sure how to stand mm -hmm. up for yourself. You're not sure how to make sure you're getting recognized or the promotions you want or the raises you want, or even just the flow of work. And it has to do with kind of figuring out who you are and that management system. And there's a cliche that I know from my corporate world is, you know, you, one of the things you need to do is you need to learn how to manage your manager. And that, that entails knowing their sort of philosophy of management or their style and how it fits you and how you want it to be. So it, there's a lot of different layers to it. And it's really important to take a look and try to figure it out for yourself. Yeah, I, I really resonate with that. It's it's about group dynamics because yep. the group is the the institution, you know, the the business and the different dynamics with the relationships um, with the different people there. And they can ping pong off of each other and they can actually start... Um, a cascade of patterns with people because we can get stimulated by our environment. So the, the biggest key that I found working with people is helping them to recognize their own patterns, helping them to recognize their own triggers of, of when do they get knocked off center, so to speak. And, and what are the practices they can use in relationship with themselves to come back to center and to really uh, be mindful around making decisions from their center rather than from when they get knocked out of that center and making a decision because it can go awry. That can cause a cascade that can be very, well, it's not life-serving <laughs> to say the least. Yeah. Right. So that self-awareness about how you fit into a certain organization and style, as you said, as you put it, the group dynamics is really important. <clears throat> and you have to also look within, like everything we talk about, it starts from within. Like, yeah. who am I? How am I in terms of, <clears throat> am I more an introvert or an extrovert? Do I need to practice? If I'm an introvert, do I need to, in order to maintain my career path that I, that I aspire to, do I need to take on a little bit more extrovert tactics or extrovert ways of being to be able to speak up for myself. Um, that's one thing to look at. Um, and there, and there are others too about how you are personally, and how you like to relate to people and how it fits into the organization. It gets very layered and it is, I love your word dynamic because it is very dynamic. You affect the place of business as much as your managers do. And, yeah. You know, how you manage or navigate that can really be important for you. And coaching can really help kind of sort out. So you, you then team up with someone 
your coach, and you can kind of figure out different patterns maybe to try and, uh, and navigate that and be able to, you know, stay if you want to stay in that organization and thrive in that organization. How can you mm -hmm. best succeed and navigate through that management style or that dynamic? Yeah, one of the practices that's really powerful um, that I will use in relationship with people that find themselves in these dynamics are constellations, doing family constellations with them. Because you, um, it's most, I don't know, magical to do it with the herd of horses. And yet we can do it online. You can do it, you can use objects and they represent the different um, aspects of the situation. And then you, you kind of play it out and you can see what's happening. So in a sense, it's almost like a role play, but you're stepping into the energy that each of those aspects, what they represent. And the person then through their own embodied experience of that, they get to receive information that they may not have had access to before. And it illuminates them in order to make a choice from a place of consciousness rather than the unconscious. And um, so being able to reveal what was hidden before. And then that's that's one of the most powerful ways that I found to work with this practice. That's um, yeah. And when you do it in a group of humans, it's even more magical because a lot of times that can bring up the trust issues people have, the doubts they have about um, even being in those relationships. Um, and I guess that's what I find to be really supportive when we're doing the constellations with horses. It brings in a whole different element because there's not so many words that the horses say, <laughs> but yeah. they do communicate quite clearly as well. That sounds incredible. And what I'm picking up, you mentioned trust. And also, I think so much of this relates to how you've learned to be towards authority, authority figures. In yeah. Your yeah. That can go what are the your home life, your development years. I know that was true of me. I kept repeating a pattern in my corporate career that came right from my relationship with my father. And until I looked at that and really figured it out, I said, oh my goodness, I'm repeating this pattern. There's so many ways. And I love the horse's way. That's cool too. It is really cool. Well, I hope this has been helpful for our listeners. And I just want to say, if you have any questions about this, please reach out to Coach Pete or to myself. We're, we're here to be of service. So thanks, Coach Pete. Thank you, Gloria. Always enjoyable and informational. Thank you. <laughs>